Now, if biometrics are so good, what are some of the issues with it? First off, we have the false rejection rate, FRR. The false rejection rate is the rate at which a particular biometric would reject a valid subject. What that means basically is, let's say we have a fingerprint scan. You put your finger on the scanner and it says, no, you are not Michael Solomon. Well, I know that's not the case, but the authentication mechanism has wrongly rejected me as the true Michael Solomon. So what I would do is I would try it again. Now, what can cause things like this? Very many different failures could cause a problem. Number one, there could be a software failure in the recognition. More likely than not, the window that I'm putting my finger on may be dirty, and a speck of dirt is causing an obstruction between the imaging device and my fingerprint. It could be as simple as just wiping the window off and trying again. It's possible I could have injured my finger and changed the characteristics temporarily through a cut or a burn. So there are lots of good reasons why a false rejection rate is of concern. On the other side of the spectrum, we also have a false acceptance rate. That is where the biometric wrongly accepts an invalid subject. And in this case, we want to make sure that we tune the biometric so that it rejects as many false acceptances as possible, or rather it rejects as many invalid subjects as possible. But the more invalid subjects that we reject, the more valid subjects that we are also going to reject. So what we look at is value a system based on the point at which the false rejection rate and the false acceptance rate cross if we graph them. And that point is called the crossover error rate. 